Hey everybody, Kyle here, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Earthworm Jim 2 on the PlayStation 1. In the last part, we completed Puppy Love Part 1, and in this part, we're going to go ahead and do the Villy people. Now you might be wondering why I'm talking all soft like this, and I will tell you, it's because this level is all calm and peaceful. And excuse me while I address my, uh, adjust my game volume. Just trying to get it so that it's just right for me, so that it's not too loud or too soft. But yeah, this level has a really nice, calm atmosphere, and I figured, you know what? I might as well try to maintain that with my own commentary. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope that you'll just sit back, relax, and follow me along on this journey through some kind of living intestine system. Intestinal system is probably the better thing to say there, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got bumpers in here. Now, if this happens to be someone's insides, and they've got bumpers in there, well, you know, I think they might have some pretty big problems. I mean, I, you can't digest bumpers. You can't digest anything that's tender, not tender. organic material. But, you know, we, we don't... We don't really care, because, you know, we're just trying to get through here and progress towards Psycho. and oh gosh, what is going on here? There appears to be one that is suspended in between these walls of Vili, which, you know, in case you don't know what a Vili is, or it might be Vilia, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but a Vili is uh, basically something on the inside of your body you know, most commonly found in your organs and veins that passes along other cells or, or material in the case of your intestines. So yeah, you gotta be careful not to touch those or else they will swallow us up and do some damage, which, you know, isn't very good. So this, this being or creature or whatever we're passing through seems to have pencils uh, stuck inside of its intestinal walling. Now, I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure that kind of thing can lead to massive bleeding and potential trauma. So you know what? I, I would really recommend that this person uh, see, a, see a professional at once. You know, they, they need to have someone go inside of them and remove those bumpers and also fix their pencil problem. Because you know what? Living without that kind of thing would not be very good. And it would also obstruct any any feces or any other kind of material that would need to be uh, passed through these these intestines. You know, I'm pretty sure that we are in a large intestine because a small intestine is what passes your your urine along, and I'm pretty sure that doesn't really have villa. Um, I mean, there might be villa in your urethra. But not inside of your small intestine. That's more or less just a big tube that, you know, passes along your urine to your bladder, which then is administers it to your urethra. Or wait, is urethra just a male thing? I'm not entirely sure about that. I, I was never the most attentive student in anatomy, so excuse me for being a little um, unknowledgeable about the human body. But you know what? Who's to even say we are in a human? We could be in just some kind of giant uh, creature. Cool. I mean, that would make sense. Uh, I mean, it appears that they have some kind of backdrop inside of them, or they have swallowed a house whole, and, you know, it somehow maintains a view of the outside world. It's very strange, but we will not, we will not really question it. We're just trying to pass through these intestines. We don't really care what we're in, we just need to get out of here. Now, I haven't really mentioned it yet, but we are actually playing as one of Jim's uh, ingenious disguises. This isn't Earthworm Jim at the moment, this is Sally Salamander. The, or Sally, I believe her name, her full name, is Sally the Blind Cave Salamander. So yes, a very ingenious disguise, to say the least. Although, using the same blaster as Earthworm Jim kind of gives him away, but, you know, gotta have some kind of 
protection here as we defeat uh, overly inflated sheep and whatnot. Um, okay, so I believe there is a continue around here somewhere. And we most definitely want to get that. Although we are in no danger of really dying, but I still would like to have that little bit of insurance. So guys, I've never done an ASMR video, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to sound as authentic as, you know, it, it should, because I don't think I have the right kind of mic for it. Also, I'm not doing the mouth sounds thing, because I think that would be a little gross. So yeah, I'm just talking quietly and trying to emulate the ASMR f uh, feel as best I can. Now we have a choice of paths here. There is an easy path and a hard path. Um, personally, I think the hard path is a little more worth it because you can actually get more worms, which we've been collecting uh, as we've been passing through this intestine. Tender, and tender. the more worms you have, the more chances you have to um, play a, a little mini game at the end of this level. And, you know, you can get all kinds of decent things from that. You know, you can get health, you can get continues, you can get uh, extra lives. And, you know, any little thing that we can get is is worth it. So, yeah. Yeah, this intestine, I mean, it's, it's getting clearer as we go down. I mean, we just saw some bumpers there, but, you know, they just need to uh, watch their fiber. And I see a continue down here, and I'm pretty sure... That's actually my first time ever finding that, unless it just wasn't in um, the other ports of this game that I've played, which, you know, could be very well possible, but I don't know. Okay, so the villa get really upset when you get close to them. I don't think it's exactly them being upset. I think it's just them getting really excited that they have a meal getting close to them. Oh, but, okay, apparently it only happens after you've, you've already gotten swallowed by them. So maybe they're just so grateful with the meal that you've almost provided them that they just go crazy. I mean, that happens with children once you give them a present. Or dogs once you give them a treat. You give them one treat and they just go crazy. Okay, there's a continue. We are in no danger of losing this level, which is good. Okay, we've got some atoms here. And some Earthworm Jim bumpers. I don't know how exactly that would make Jim feel, you know, knowing that uh, whatever we are in has actually swallowed bumpers that have his face on him. So, you know, unless we are playing in the intestines of a child who has, uh, who is a big fan of Earthworm Jim and ingested his toy bumpers that his mother gave him. But yeah, I don't think that's a very good thing. Just, you know, lesson to learn here, kids, or parents. Always pay attention to your kids and make sure that they aren't swallowing their toy bumpers. Even if they do have the face of Earthworm Jim on them, it's not good. Also, don't let your children eat pencils. It's it's not good, and they can obstruct their intestines and potentially cause all kinds of harm. So, oh, I should also mention before we get to the end of this, this level that uh, according to the manual, this level is actually the summer home of one of Jim's nemeses, uh, Dr. Duodenum, or General Duodenum. Uh, if you don't know what a duodenum is, it's actually a part of your body that uh, plays a role in your digestion and uh, directly is involved with your pancreas. Now, I actually only know that because um, I'm a fan of Weird Al Yankovic, a uh, very awesome uh, parody artist, if you've never heard of him. And he made a song all about talking about the pancreas. And uh, one of the lines in the song mentions the duodenum. You know, it goes, Don't you know you got a flow, 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 pancreatic juice, flow, flow, into the duodenum. Won't you flow? Flow, flow, pancreatic juice. Flow, flow, into the duodenum. So that's how I know what a duodenum, a duodenum does. Do you know what a duodenum does? You can almost make that a, a twist, a, a word twister, or whatever they call those. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and break out of that. Oh my gosh. That was actually kind of fun. Maybe I should actually try... 
um, ASMR videos, or maybe not. Um, okay, so now we are doing a game show, and this will use the worms that you've probably been collecting as you go through this. So we're going to be asked some really absurd and nonsensical questions here. What is Earthworm Jim's favorite disco dance step? The hustle, the worm walk, or the funky cow? Now, I've actually looked up a little bit of these answers before, and I know that this one is, indeed, without a doubt, the funky cow. Yeah, that's right. I'm smart. Bring it on. Give me the next question here. What is the meaning of life? 42, asked Brian, or 42, all spelled out? Let's say ask Brian. I'm, I'm pretty sure Brian knows. If I could press the right button. Nope, I think we got that wrong. Oh well. Can Peter Puppy have a bite of your ice cream sandwich? Yes, no, over my dead body. Well, let's be nice, we'll just say yes. Oh, apparently that was wrong. Okay. Uh, oh. We cut the question off sort short there. Crap. Uh, so yeah, these questions don't make any sense, and, you know, even when, like, there's a logical answer to the question, it's, it's typically not right. I don't get it. Neither do I, and your point is? The right answer is often wrong, and the rest don't make sense, so you haven't much of a chance anyway. Yeah. Oh, and that was the answer. <laughs> All right. So we can get ammo for a gun, which we really don't need, but what kind of license do you need to fly a pocket rocket, which is actually Jim's um, rocket that he flies around on? Uh, class C to kill, or you need a license? Oh, I got it wrong. Okay, I said you need a license, because that just seems like a good answer. Can Jim speak French? Uh. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so I, I laughed at that last line. So there's the answers are oui, non, Michel, Nobel, or, uh, oh, that's actually ma, that's, that's an M and an A. Michel, ma belle, sans les mots qui vont très bien ensemble. So that's actually kind of a line from a Beatles song, aptly titled Michel. So, uh, <laughs> can that be the right answer? No, oh, it's probably we. Um, there's actually a question that, that asks if Jim can speak Spanish, and it's actually, um, it's actually, uh, uh, C is the answer to that one. In college, Jim played what sport? Jousting, go-go dancing, or cricket? Cricket? Lovely day for cricket? No. Okay. Oh, well. Um, can Psycho beat Jim at arm wrestling? Jim has no arms, no or yes. Jim has no arms, are you crazy? Yeah, that was right. <laughs> um, oh, we can win another worm, which is kind of an odd prize. What was the answer to the previous question? C, A, B. Uh, it was C, right? No, oh, okay. I mean, it was, but that was weird. Oh, crap. Apparently, if you push a button too soon, it just cuts off the question. Um, all right. Who is the king of the animals in Africa? Marimba. Help, I can't swimba. Earthworm Jimba. Can it be help, I can't swimba? Okay, fine. Um, all right. That was fun. So there's no way that you can, like, die from that, which is awesome. Um, but all right, we have a repeat the sequence thing we have to do. So this level just ends with random mini games, which I just love. Um, okay, I'm bad at these, so we'll see how long I last at this. All right, Psycho, number 12. All right, Psy 12, 12. I'm gonna try to concentrate on this. 12, 12. Psy 12, 12, Jim. 12, 12, Jim. Psy 12, 12, Jim, Jim. That's easy. 12, 12, Jim, Jim. Psy 12, 12, Jim, Jim, Psy. 12, 12, 
Jim. Jim. Sai. Oh gosh. Sai. Twelve. Twelve. Jim. Jim. Sai. And Sai. Oh gosh. All right. Boom. 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 Oh my god. Oh god. How long is this gonna go on for? Ah! Uh, I said I was bad at these, but I've lasted quite a while. Um, okay. Is this the last one? Please be the last one. Jesus. Oh god. Uh, this is probably gonna be it. I'm done. Okay. Boom. 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 Here it goes. I'm gonna screw this up. Boom. 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 And boom. No way. Ah! I can't do this anymore. Um, I'll, I'll try to get this one, and then if I if I still succeed, which I believe I've already forgot what it was, um, but I will actually just lose it on purpose. Oh no, it's this one more time. And then this. No fucking way. That's it, I'm done. I can't do it. Alright. Oh, almost made it, I know. Crap, I was hoping to get extra lives from that, but... Uh, oh well. Okay, so that's it. We've won. And what do we get for the end of this level? Looks like... Jim comes out of his disguise? And are we going to be able to blast off again? Yeah, there's actually different ways that cutscene can go. But we've only seen the the right way, which is disappointing. But, okay. Oh, and we got all, all the things, so we got the password for that level, which is good. Um, okay, so the next level is the Flying King. Now, is it just going to... Well, okay. We'll go ahead and get into it. I think it just gives you a chance to write down the password if you need to. But, all right. The Flying King. We're going to do this in the next part. So, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And I hope you'll join me next time when we take on the Flying King. So, stay awesome, everyone, and I will see you guys then.